Hello, boys and girls. Today's story is called Elizabeth's Doll, and it was written by Stephanie Stuve Bodine and illustrated by Christy Hale. And here we have our title page, the name or title of the book, author, illustrator, publisher. And this is our front cover, spine, and back cover. Elizabeth had a new baby brother named Obedi. Elizabeth watched Mama take care of him, and she wanted to care for her own baby. She didn't have a doll, so she went outside and picked up a stick. She tried to hug it, but it poked her, and she dropped it on the ground. Then Elizabeth picked up a rock. It was just the right size to hold, and it didn't poke Elizabeth when she hugged it. She kissed the rock and named it Ava. When baby Obedi had a bath, he splashed and got mama wet. When Ava had a bath, she behaved very nicely and only splashed a little. Mama fed Obedi and he gave a loud burp. Elizabeth fed Ava, but she was too polite to burp. Mama changed the cloth wrapped around Obedi's bottom and it was very messy. Elizabeth was very relieved to find that Ava's bottom was still clean. When Mama did her chores, she tied Obedi onto her back with a bright cloth called a kanga. When Elizabeth did her chores, she also tied Ava onto her back with a kanga. Mama had to help a little. Elizabeth went to visit her friend Rahili. Rahili laughed when she saw that Elizabeth had a rock for a doll. But Rahali didn't have a doll either. So when Elizabeth left, Rahali found her own rock and, they, and may, named it Malusi. When Elizabeth got home, it was time for her to get water from the village well. She took Ava out of the kanga and laid her on the ground near some other rocks so she wouldn't be lonely. Then Elizabeth wrapped the kanga into a small bundle put it on top of her head and placed the water jug on top of the kanga. This was how she always carried water and other heavy things. So here she's putting her baby down and here she is carrying the water. Elizabeth soon returned with the water and took it to her sister Pendo inside the cooking hut where all the family's meals were made. Then Elizabeth ran outside to get Ava, but Ava was gone. Elizabeth looked all around, but she couldn't find Ava. Mama found a new rock and gave it to Elizabeth. Elizabeth shook her head when she saw it. The rock was just a rock. Pendo also brought Elizabeth a rock, but it wasn't Ava either. Elizabeth was very sad and sat quietly until it was time to help Pendo in the cooking hut.
The family had rice for dinner every night, and it was Elizabeth's job to put the pot of rice on the fire pit, which was made of three large stones. Elizabeth sadly filled the pot with water and set it on the stones to boil. But one of the stones wasn't a stone at all. It was Ava. Elizabeth called for Mama, and together they moved the pot of water and rolled Ava away from the fire. Although Ava was a bit dirty, she hadn't been hurt. Pendle ran outside to get a new stone for the fire pit, which is just how poor Ava had become lost. Ava sat quietly while Elizabeth cleaned her off and hugged her. At bedtime, Mama sang a lullaby and rocked Obedi in her arms until he fell asleep. Elizabeth sang a lullaby too, but she fell asleep before Ava did. Mama covered Elizabeth and Ava with a blanket. She smiled and thought that one day Elizabeth would make a fine mother. Ava thought so too. And that's our story for today and I will see you in another book.